Okay. That would be Mike and Lottie. All right. right. I'm here. Anyway, Johnny, I'm here. Yeah, he, oh, yeah she actually sorry. is. All right. Anyway, good Here's evening. Mike. Good evening, everybody. It is Monday night here beyond the airways. The inf I know. Say it again. Beyond the airways, leveling up. <laughs> Almost did it again, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> I caught myself though, so I'm good. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, you may have noticed things still just slightly differed here because you notice we have our theme over on the right our uh, ways to get to us at the bottom and our chat rooms at the bottom right he said there's nobody saying anything but i'll just i'll just put in something for an example yes this really works there it is <laughs> is this zoom chat or is no twitch this chat Twitch chat. Yes, yes, Twitch chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't okay. go to Twitch that much. Sorry, guys. Oh, don't worry, Janet. You can watch it afterward. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, it is money. That means it's time for Monday Mania. Things are gonna. Start, things are getting back to normal here. Uh, I should give you a quick note. Wednesday, we are not going to have a show, and let me explain why. I actually have to work an extra hour at my job. Because I have a diabetes education class in the middle of the day on Thursday. And the only way I can keep that hour from getting all discombobulated is work the extra hour Wednesday. But that would get me at 6.30. I wouldn't be home until about 7. And that would put it way too close to the show. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. So that's that's understandable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we're so yeah, we're being summer slammed. No I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, anyway. Flashing lights and shit. Yeah. All right, anyway, That's I'm your host. Yeah. Anyway, I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddball Extreme. I'm currently joined line by five of my crazy cohorts. First, we have our master creator, Frodo. <laughs> Hello, Frodo. Yep, always here. Yep. Although Jock although Johnny's a troublemaker. <laughs> All right. Me. Yeah. And then we also have Resident Joker, Mike. Hello, Mike. Good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. Yeah. You must be working tonight, huh? Ash is what? working tonight, huh? No, she's home. She's just taking care of stuff around the apartment. Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right. We also have a resident, uh, Janet. Janet. Hello, Janet. Oh, shit. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't change the... Don't worry about it. You're fine. <laughs> That's why, I said, that's why I said your resident wow. Janet, Janet. <laughs> All right. Then, <laughs> then we've got Lottie. Then we have Lottie Hello. below. Hello, Charlotte. And finally, Hello. to the bottom right, we have our Ford Mustang, John. Hello, John. Hey, Shirley. I don't know if you got to put up the social eating tab, but I am enjoying myself at the moment. I think it's already in there, so I don't think we have to worry. <laughs> okay. Reintroduce me. Okay, hold on. I gotta see what your name is. You are the AZ sneak thief. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John was here for supper tonight. Yeah. Go ahead, John. Hit me up. It's supper time. <laughs> Feed me. Yeah, Feed basically, me, Seymour. Uh, I think it's supper time. All right, go ahead, John. Agent style, style meatloaf, which was good. Ooh. Uh, oh. Damn it. Also Meat made loaf. biscuits, which I <laughs> wish I got to try more of, but uh, good to get to enjoy one with some sweet marmalade. Ooh, nice. And of course, he made his staple mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Well, let's see. Um, my neighbor a couple houses down, she had a shrimp boil on Saturday, and yesterday uh, her daughter delivered us some shrimp, uh, some Ooh. boiled potatoes, some uh few little bits of corn on the cob and a couple pieces of sausage all no you know, crayfish the... no, no crayfish. Sh shrimp it was a shrimp i know but a good boil, boil has shrimp Janet, uh, they don't do crawfish <laughs> they do shrimp that's why it was called a shrimp boil <laughs> exactly Okay, seafood yeah, boil. Yeah, it wasn't it's a crawfish boil thing. because you know they have that. They usually have that every year downtown. <laughs> Seriously, anyway. they do. They have a crawfish boil. Go ahead. And the one thing about crawfish 
one thing about crawfish mm-hmm. it's a lot of work for so little meat yeah okay yeah. Uh, frodo i think you were talking go ahead please okay we have some bad news huh? i'm listening um, oh yeah we found out today that a certain member of a certain music group has heart failure. I can barely hear you, Frodo. Yeah, can you turn it up just a little bit? Hold on, let me see if this helps. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to bring up my mic volume a little bit. bit. There, there, there you are. I can hear you now. All right. Is, Is that, that better? better? Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. For some stupid reason, my computer decided, my Zoom decided to do the same thing it did to you, Shirley. Ah, uh, oh, gotcha. Now, is anyway. you okay? Anyway. Shirley? Yes. I'm sending you a link through the Facebook. Okay. Go ahead and post it up in all of our places. Okay. All right. There it is. If I can get there. All right. Let's see. Ooh. That, just by that title alone, that's a... Yeah, I don't like can that. you put it in the Zoom chat too, Shirley? Yeah, give me just a second. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me put the Zoom... I put it everywhere, so bear with me, growl. Okay, there it is in Zoom chat. Let me get it in Discord as well. What a repository. All right. All right. So, so one, one thing, thing most people don't know about me is I actually enjoy the insane clown posse. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, they're out there. there. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're controversial, controversial as a motherfucker. motherfucker. Yes. yes. They are also, also professional, professional wrestlers. Down. But Violent, Violent J, J, one of the two, two founding, founding members, members, because you have Violent J and Shaggy Too Dope, is suffering, suffering from heart failure. failure. So next, next year, ICP is going on a farewell tour, one show a month in different places. And yeah, after this, they will still create music because his studio is literally... 20 feet away from him. That's good. But they will no longer tour. Yeah. In fact, mind if I read the whole article? Go for it. All right. So here we go. Insane Cloud Posse. Reader's uh, digest. Quick thing. Yeah. Quick fair warning. This does have some strong language. So yep. those offended by the word fuck probably shouldn't be listening to us in the first place. Right. So anyway. Inclain. Inclain. Ins- <laughs> Here, Try Insane again. Cloud Posse made a heartfelt announcement on stage at this year's gathering of the Juggalos, revealing Violent J has been suffering from heart failure. As a result, ICP will embark on a farewell tour next year, though the duo plan to continue playing one-off shows. Your turn, Shirley. Okay. Violent J has noticeably slimmed down over the years. The rapper chose to lose weight after suffering from serious knee issues, which were being exacerbated by his obesity. Violent J didn't reveal the cause of his heart issues. He described his struggle in detail in front of a crowd of Juggalos. Juggalos, by the way, are the fans of ICP, kind of like uh, the monsters are the fans of Little Ga- of Lady Gaga, and creatures are the fans of Slipknot. Ah, gotcha. I forget what are fans of Kiss called. Uh, I don't remember. Kiss soldiers? Yeah, yeah soldiers, soldiers, I think. 
Yeah, because they have the Kiss Army and um, the fans of the Grateful Dead, the groupies who are the Grateful the Dead, dead are called Deadheads. The Deadheads, yeah. Deadheads. All right. So anyway. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for interrupting. I was no, just no, trying no, to no, clarify. No. no, you're fine. That's fine. Anyway, well, for those... I'm glad you enlightened me there. Yeah. Well, anyway, here's what he said. Here's what Violent J himself said. Those of you that haven't been to my house, the studio is probably 40 yards from my front door. I noticed walking out to the studio every day. By the time I got to the fucking studio, I was winded, he said. Then when I'd walk up to my mailbox, I'd be like, oh, fuck, I've got to take a break. What the fuck's the problem? I went to the hospital to see what's going on. They did an ultrasound. The lady who was looking at my heart, we could tell she was tripping about something, but she wasn't a doctor. The doctors were all tied up upstairs in the hospital, understandably. She told me they want you to go straight home, get in bed. They'll call you first thing in the morning. He continues, they called before the birds even woke up and fucking told me to go to the hospital. They took me in the back and shit. Basically, they just came out and told me I have heart failure. That scared the shit out of me. Violet J underwent multiple procedures to treat atrial fibrillation, but continued to experience an irregular heartbeat. During atrial fibrillation, the heart's two upper chambers, the atria, beat chaotically and irregularly, out of coordination with the two lower chambers, the ventricles of the heart, the Mayo Clinic describes, Atrial fibrillation symptoms often include heart, pal heart, eh, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, and weakness. I know. I had I had something similar to that. We're going to do one. Sympathy. Yeah. We're going to do one more tour next year around the world, Violent G announced. We're going to do the United States, and then we're going to do Europe, Canada, and Australia. It's going to be a farewell tour. That don't mean we're not playing. We're going to play every Juggalo weekend, every Hollow Wicked, every fucking Big Ballers Christmas party, every event. We're going to do a show somewhere every month. One show a month is our plan. I want to make it clear. Making music is not affected in any way, shape, or form by anything going on with Shaggy or myself health-wise. <coughs> and uh, I think a lot of at the end says, We'd like to wish Violent J the very best in his health. Watch ICP's full talk at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Um, it's in that YouTube video. You can watch it whenever you want. And I just want to say, the people who are fans of of ICP, myself included. Uh, we appreciate what Shaggy to Job and uh, Violent J go do. They have been through a lot of shit in their lives. So we at BTA also wish him the best. Yeah. So even though I'm not really into the ICP, they're uh -huh. still human beings. Exactly. Okay. And I don't care. I don't care if it's someone I totally despise. I would not wish ill health on anybody. Uh -huh. I'm just going to say this mm -hmm. since I'm probably not going to see one bit. Keteris Paribus, I'm probably not going to see one bit of their tour. Violent J, Shaggy, in the words of Pink Floyd, Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Perfect. But yeah, I, because, because the because you know, no matter what you're doing in your life, there is nothing more important than your health and your well-being. Period. Well, uh, do the um, members of ICP have family? I agree, but I yes, they, they do. do. Okay, then let's wish the family good luck. Let's let's say prayers for the family as well as the ICP. Yeah. Excuse me. You know? Yeah, Ooh. but like I said, Shaggy Too Dope is the other member of ICP. And yeah, Shaggy and uh, Violent J. Violent J are pretty well essentially family. Yeah. So, I mean, they've been doing this. They've been doing their breed of rap and rock for 30, 35 years. Yeah, because I still remember Insane in the Membrane, so. Actually, that's not. That's, uh. Help. That's G-Unit, I think, or something. I can't remember who did Insane in the Membrane. But it's not insane clown posse. Oh, they've done awesome. songs like the Should great, <laughs> the great Malenko miracles. 
okay. Uh, they need to do if they're gonna keep writing music. At some point, they may need to do some kind of cover of Doctor Demento's "Kinko the Kid Loving Clown." I think they have. I'll have to look that up then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Changing the subject. Uh, Mike, you brought up something about a Twitch blackout. Yeah, Until. one second. Let me get it on. Before Cosmo goes crazy. Alrighty. Let me grab it from... I can get it. Hang on. Well, I got it up on my end. Okay. But, yeah, basically, um, sept um September 1st, there are many people, and a lot of them are like, you know, persons of color, LGBTQ+, and other um, identities are going to go offline for a full day in protest of hate rates. Now, maybe you should explain hate raids. Okay, hate raids are basically raids but they're through bots, robots, bots that send hate messages to streamers that they that they raid. This has become prevalent in the last couple of weeks or so, and it's getting out of hand. Many people that are not of the you know target are also going on going. To, to protest alongside of them. Because Twitch has done nothing. Twitch as a and, whole has done nothing. And honestly, I'm about, about to say we need to do it in solidarity. solidarity. I agree. Given that I don't generally use Twitch, that's just fine with me. Though, uh, personally, I think in addition to that, if we're going to have racist bots we need to start engineering bots that tell people to bite their shiny metal asses yeah. that would be a bad idea actually that would be hilarious but and if possible all... ones that sound like john dimaggio Ooh, even better that'd be like awesome <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you guys can hear Sarah, but she is in major support of my idea. I yeah. like that. I really like that. That's cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll call fuel cells. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll and, I'll and, go ahead. I'll just say, say this. this. I've, I've got, got the perfect, perfect boost for, for the question. question. What's that? Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep my fuel cells energized with plenty of wholesome, nutritious alcohol. <laughs> Why do you smoke the cigars, too? They make me look cool. All right. So anyway, um, this is the, this is the run of the article here. Uh, streamers organized Twitch blackout and protests of hate raids, and this was posted today. Yep. Anyway, Twitch streamers and content creators will take a one-day strike from the streaming service in response to the persistent hate raids targeting marginalized streamers. Earlier this month, racist bots were used to harass, undermine, and even dox streamers of color. These hate raids have sadly always been present on the platform, yet the introduction of tags for POC, LGBTQ+, and other identities for streamers to use has allowed the race to increase in frequency and intensity. Twitch addressed the events and explained that although there is not a simple fix for what is going on, it is not the community we want on Twitch, and we want you to know that we are working hard to make Twitch a safer place for creators. However, streamers don't believe that enough has been done to protect them from the vitriol. This statement is literally meaningless without actual evidence of what you're doing to help, said Emily underscore Shadows, a streamer who had seen the instigator of a hate raid against her save the moment and it happened as a clip on the website. All my passion for streaming on Twitch has evaporated. I don't feel safe. I don't feel like my community would be safe, admitted Twitch partner Bread Witchery. And seeing there's um, wreck -It Raven. We are continuing the fight. Shout out to... Uh, Lucia Everblack and Shiny Pin for helping me out with this. A day off Twitch, September 1st, don't go live. I think we could do that. We can take yeah, that spend on. the day on YouTube. Hell yeah! That's yeah, right. we can we do can, that. We can do the show on we YouTube. We have the tools to do it. We That's can just right. switch over to YouTube easily. 
Yep, and it won't that's be that. You know what the best part is, guys? We don't Sorry, have to follow Twitch's to. rules. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's perfect. Anyway, um, as such, Twitch streamer Reggae Raven, who started the Twitch Do Better hashtag as a way of drawing attention to the raids, has now announced a day off Twitch, hashtag a day off Twitch, which asks streamers and audiences to avoid using Twitch on September 1st. We're continuing the fight, they said on Twitter. While the reception to the idea has been positive, some have wondered about the viability of a strike given the enormity of Twitch and preventing people from making money through the streaming service. We are asking for one day of solidarity for people who are losing far more than a day's worth of subs, bits, and... I think that's donors. donors. Hey, donors. 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 Oh, you're Donations. Oh, okay. I thought it was donors misspelled. Let's no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a shorthand for donations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Change before one letter, it becomes the Japanese for thank you. I, I want to say, say something, something before we continue. continue. Okay. Actually, arigato is the thank you. No, domo is an informal version. Arigato is more formal. The completely formal is formal is domo arigato gozaimasu. Yep. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Listen to Japanese anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now. Shirley? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what, what it looks, looks like, like on stream, stream right now. Mm. What? It looks good. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, it looks very good. Yay! The audio <laughs> is, is good by, by the way, Shirley. Everything is working perfectly. Good. <laughs> There's, There's your perfection. perfection. Yeah, let's just say we have this. Is the problem is, I'm trying to upload some other things, and it's like it won't let me grow. It's like, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. When I go to bed, I'm gonna turn off Streamlabs. When I come home tomorrow, then I'll start adding them back on again. <laughs> oh, oh, by, by the way, way we, we should, should also let, let our fans know, know. Uh, the, uh, the computer, computer in which runs our stream, which is Shirley's computer, computer also, also got an upgrade. upgrade. Yep. From 8 gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. <laughs> double the RAM, double, double the pleasure, pleasure double, double the fun. Hmm. Now we're just missing double, double it all gum. with double mint gum. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're missing, double mint gum. <laughs> I was setting you guys up for that. <laughs> you know I did that on purpose, right? Yeah. Now we need some way to make a reference to Big Red. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike, stand yeah. up. Why? Just stand up. Yeah, your red shirt. Well, yeah, it's my dress shirt. What of it? Big red. So, <laughs> Wear it a little longer. Last hey, a little can we... longer. <laughs> Stream a little okay. longer. Can we finish the article? Longer yeah, hey, go. Guys, yeah, guys, seriously. I'm gonna I'll find one more statement afterwards. Right. Okay, uh, anyway, um... See, what we can't afford is to sit by idly and allow that to continue, said fellow streamer Lucia Everblack. As one gold, a streamer popular for his World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV online content, has shared his thoughts on the Blackout and that it requires someone with a lot of followers on the platform to participate. You can't get a bunch of 20 small streamers together and think you're going to do anything. Nobody gives a fuck, he said on stream on Sunday. While they appreciate the message that these streamers are communicating, you will not join unless someone else with a similar following does first, because he has been criticized for taking parts in protests about Twitch in the past. Well, duh. Do we have a similar following, following to Asmongold? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No, but it doesn't matter. No, I still okay. don't matter. Shirley? Yes. Can I ask you a favor? What's the favor? On on Facebook, remember LaShawn's newest post? Yeah. About oh, Kevin? yes, yes. Okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. Can I make one, can I make a final statement? My, yes. my thoughts on this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. This is a direct to Twitch.tv. I have been a longtime follower and watcher of the platform for 10 plus this these bots will not stand i will no longer have this i plan to start streaming on october 1st if there is no improvement by then i will i will be going elsewhere 
fuck with that being said i will continue to watch streams on twitch i will just not stream on it okay that's okay. reasonable to me twitch do better fix this crap wow. i have seen a picture of of drama and controversy for 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 the last 10 years this is the top controversy i am actually surprised that amazon who owns twitch by the way does not step in uh did twitch i miss something better what did i miss something no what Jamie, do you mean? He, he's just you know you know that tw that you know they're protesting twitch with the hate bots and all yeah mike i'm just making my own statement my, and mike's saying if they don't fix it all right i, I hope this, I hope this works i don't twitch? know if it will but this. Why are they hating on Twitch anyway? Because they're not Twi hating on on Twitch. They're they're taking a stand because Twitch is not doing a very good job protecting those that are you know like person of color, LGBTQ right. plus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. From from the hate raids. Right. Will you stop and quit making noise, dog? Thank anyway, you. Go ahead, Frodo. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about uh, that. I completely agree with you. 110%. The okay. thing is, the thing that bothers me about it is that it seems like people don't accept it, what we, what we are saying. Yeah. Now, our friend LaShawn posted something on her Facebook. And I've got it up on the screen now. Yep, yep I, I see it. it. I'm, I'm actually, actually looking, looking at the screen on Twitch, Twitch right now. now. <laughs> Oops, uh-oh. Hold on. There we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that is one of her new, new characters. Yep, his name is Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> yeah, and this is in her post. Uh, Sarah Kevin... wants to look too. Yeah, and then, hold, on. This... Hold, hold on, hold on one minute. minute. Okay, I have, I have a solution. solution. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying anything bad, bad about, about it, honey. I'll be right back. Give me a bloody <laughs> fucking <laughs> moment, and I'll show you what I'm up to. <laughs> uh, I got a quick message for Lashawn. What's that? Uh, Lashawn. I think Frodo's wife is starting to fall in love with what is, to my knowledge, so far your main male character from Beautiful Soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is Kevin! <laughs> Mute it. Sorry. Mute the TV. Yeah, this is Kevin! <laughs> anyway... According to um, according to Sean, he is a mysterious dark character who the beautiful soldiers meet in book one. This was the character design I did when coming up with this, with his look. She drew it, and it was colored by Donnie Cayono. 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 All right, guys. Boy, that's look at my wife. Oh. Because I actually have the stream. Up on our TV. Oh, nice. So she's seeing it, and I think she's just like, oh my god, he's cute. <laughs> like I said, LaShawn, I think you've just found, found Sarah's next boy toy. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I remember I commented, I said, Kevin looks uber creepy, but in a very good way. Her response, good, good. I'm so glad he does give that creepy vibe. A little since his character right now is super mysterious. Ooh. You know what he guys I also around? made a comment about so, it. I yes, want you so. to read. Sure, hang on. What's up, Janet? So, well, Sean hasn't determined whether or not Kevin's going to be a good guy or a bad guy. He could be either way. He could be either right. or. You know it's who he reminds me of? He reminds me of the former lead singer of Savage Garden. I know who you're talking about. I just can't remember his name. <laughs> I don't remember his name either. Actually, I know what he reminds me of better. All right. A black suited version of Zoisai. Ooh, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. 
Damn, well, anyway, he's lost me. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, here's Frodo's here's Frodo's comment. Thank you for some male Wiccan representation in this well, character. That pentacle looks great. And it does. It does. It does. And, and, and if, if you, you look, look very closely at it, uh, where, where the chain links up, up to the pentacle, mm -hmm. it's doing one point up. Yeah. Which is the Wiccan pentacle version. As opposed to demonic. Yep. So that's why I said thank you for that representation. Because there's a lot of people in this world that don't accept the fact that there are males who are Wiccan. Yeah. Hi. I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a Potterhead. I've long accepted that fact. <laughs> but, my a, point, but my point is still there, John. Oh, yeah. Because that's, uh, because that's just it. You, you, you can never tell, you know, being represented and such. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of Lashana and Lashana, uh, Lashana was at AwesomeCon over the weekend. She Ooh. got, and let's put it this way, she was able to get picks with Three, uh, two of the original Power Rangers and the second Yellow Ranger, because of course, sadly, the first, sadly the original Yellow Ranger yeah, 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 was killed yeah. in an automobile accident on September, I believe it was September third, two thousand one. Nice. Don't forget Uncle George. Yeah, she got her pick. Oh, there she is. She's in. She's in the um chat. Let's see. Ooh. Hi, hey, Lala. Hey, Lala. I'm gonna get you. On, I see I'll get you on Zoom. Yeah. I'm gonna get you on Zoom in a second, Lala. So hang on, all right? Because I know you want to talk about it. <laughs> Let me talk okay, about I don't it. know how you can see her goofy ass unless she's doing something potentially very imprudent with her camera. <laughs> Okay, hang on, Lala. I'm going to get you in here in a minute. By the way, Lala, how do you like the new layout? Okay, I just sent her the Zoom link, so she should be able to join us pretty shortly. Well, I hope she types in what she thinks of the new layout. Dogs are finally settling down. Yay! She says it's awesome. I like it. It is. It, it looks really good. good. I'm, I'm glad, glad I thought of using that uh, crystal oh, as kind of a representation of the show. Yeah. I'll tell you, next time I get a drink after dinner, I'm going to make sure the Quick Star has enough flavor syrup in its 7-Up. I think this time I, I added a bunch of cherry flavoring, but I think this time I mostly got seltzer water. Ah. Uh. Hey guys! Hey, hey Lala. Lala! Do you hey, think Bo and Dipsy still doing okay? <laughs> oh hush, John! <laughs> Here's the remember. funny shirt sure, at Lala. Mm -hmm. Guess yes, what? What? I got the sh I got the show up on our TV. Oh, that's awesome! You can even ask John; he can look up. And he sees the stream right now. Yeah, it's a uh, few seconds delayed, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but what do you think? What do you think of the layout, Lala? It's awesome. I like it. I like yeah. the new layout. Yeah, because it, it looks it's 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 simple. It's not overkill. It's like here we are on one side. You know, show the name of the show on the right. Info on the bottom. Chat room bottom right. Piece of cake. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And well, honestly, I'm glad this way we can post whatever information we really need to in the event of something going on. Yep. We also have a setup. Shirley, yes. pull up, pull up Zoom radar. Oh, I gotta get hold it. Let me get my radar up first. <laughs> <laughs> I can't exactly do it without the radar. I know, <laughs> but this way we could kind of demonstrate how quickly people. we can change how quickly we can change things up in a hurry. 
Yeah. yeah. This All is right. this, this is Shana. Shana. Are, yeah, you are you still, still watching, watching the stream? stream? Yes, I am. Watch, Watch this, this yep, when it comes, comes up. up. There's the radar. Boom. Wow. It was like, no way. I just Musketeen. discovered something weird. What's that? For whatever reason, Shirley, uh, your video feed is reversed on Twitch prepared, compared to what I get during the Zoom meeting. I don't know why. Mm, it may just be the way it is. Um, yeah. No, no big deal. deal. Yeah. She, she can, can also, also reverse her video if she wants to. Yeah, uh, see, right, so right now, this is facing how I am here, so. Yeah. On, on Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. So it looks on like it's... On Zoom, it's... it's... Well, the thing of it is, uh, my Zoom feed is mirrored to resemble a mirror, so obviously I'm going to be flipped around on the TV feed. Okay. But Frodo's looks the same, Janet's looks the same. Um, Mike's looks the same, Lottie's looks the same, Lala's looks the same, but then again, unless they spelled your name backwards, I don't know how it would look different. It'd be able to really the ah. Be Scrub Anahasal. Yeah. That would be Scorb Anahasal. But yeah. Hey, where did Mike go? Uh, he has a separate way. He'll be back. But yeah, you can see yeah, I, can yeah. move, I can move the radar. Oh, oh, oh I can do this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do this. Quickly go. Show. Yeah, yeah do, do the, the quick, quick switches. switches. Yeah, I can go Magic Express. That's me. To Janet, which is Skybase. What does it look like on Skybase right now? Uh, There's no rain, but you've got some red. Is that like an excessive heat warning? Probably. The ozone in the air sucks. Oh, it's the air quality. That's what it is. No, this is excessive heat. A lot of ozone in the air. Excessive heat warning. That's what it is. Okay. Heat warning and an ozone alert, too. Yeah, then we can go to Casa de Iowans. Casa de Iowans. <laughs> Iowans, right? Yep. And then we have a Megalopolis city. <laughs> Who is that? The city of Townsville. Yep. The city of... Oh, speaking of Townsville, um, I don't know if you heard this. Powerpuff Girls, that one that they're, they're trying to do on the CW, is already in trouble. Really? Uh, what are they in trouble for? Uh, no, no not, not like trouble with the law. It's like there's trouble with the show already. Because Chloe Bennett, who's supposed to play, I believe it's Blossom, she's already left. Really? Why? Why? Because some, it just things were just not working out. I don't know all the details, but all I know is it just wasn't working out. Because, you know what? I feel like, why in the world is the CW even trying to do this? Was it live action or another animation? It's live action, and they want to make the Powerpuff Girls, like, in their 20s. Well, that won't work. No. That will not fucking work. No. I feel like yeah, it works about as well as when they try to make Sailor Moon live action. Yeah. Actually, that worked. In Japan. Um, I don't know if you know about this, John. I'm listening. But there, there's a show that exists called uh, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Yeah, the live action version. Um, yeah. Frodo, poor example then, it'll be kind of like when they made a live-action show out of The Tick. Oh, wait, I like that one. <laughs> no, I got the perfect example for you. That does suck. Massive no, elephant wait. dogs. It's not the show I like. It's mainly Batman Will and his humor. No. Do you want to know what show really sucked? Massive molar Massive elephant dong. What? When they Earth. switched it over yeah. to live action. What was it? Really? Well, DBC Evolution sucked. Oh, there's the one I. Hold on. There's one I think is worse. I'm listening. 
the Netflix, Netflix fucking version of fucking Death Note. Note. Yep, I heard how oh, bad that yeah, was. I have okay, heard how bad uh... that was. <laughs> now, speaking of Netflix and anime, yeah. here, uh, here's some other news that, that just popped up literally today. There is a live-action version of Cowboy Bebop coming. But before you jump, let me explain something. John Cho is playing Spike. Okay? Spike Spiegel. The outfit is just about as dead on as you can get. His hair is as dead yes. on as you can get. Lay down! Down! I'll tell you what, Shirley. You get a hold of me when they make a live-action version of either Space Dandy or Crayon Shin Chan. Uh, hot Lottie left. Oh, she did? Okay. That is she's I think she dropped out of the call, Janet. Yeah. Well, listen, she's been up for over 20 hours, so I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nearly four in the morning her time. Yeah, but Lala, let's see. Um, let's see. You how was how was your trip to Awesome Con? The only thing I can tell you guys, I'm just gonna say this. It was unbelievable. That's the only thing <laughs> it was I awesome. Say. That's the only thing I could say. If you guys go to my um, YouTube channel, you will see that I post a video. And trust me when I say this, I did the ugly crap. That's the only thing I could put it. Um, <laughs> what's the ugly crap? Mainly, I didn't hold. Mainly, I couldn't hold my composure after I said what I said to Karen Ashley. Oh. And let's just say I I I, I broke. I see what okay. broke. <laughs> Why say, say something? I can cry. I consider it a a sincere thank you cry. All right, go ahead. We got one, one more bit of news that, that we have to do. Okay, but it ends with a positive. Okay, good deal. Today was the first day of school for many, 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 many. Of our Iowa school districts, okay. including Cedar Rapids, Decorah. Wait a minute. I thought around here Cedar Rapids schools didn't start till Wednesday. No, they started today. Okay. Okay. I know because I have friends who have kids that are in school. All right. All right. <laughs> but anyway, so a teen in Decorah went to school. And then walked out. Why? Yeah. He, he just walked, walked out. out. He literally, that's, that's all it is. is. He, he literally walked, walked out. out. Okay. okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to pull the original article. Okay. Post it in Zoom chat. Hold on. I gotta find it because it's a little ways down. Okay. All right. Copy link. Surely it's coming at you in uh, Facebook. Okay, I'll copy everywhere. Excuse me. Sorry. You just want to get the KCRG. Everything before that. Okay. Ignore. All right. KCRG. <laughs> oh boy. Missing Decorah student found alive. Decorah, Iowa. Officials in Decorah confirmed that Brandon Quam, the student missing from Decorah High School since Monday morning, has been located and is alive. Basically, a... can I pause you for a minute? Sure. At, when he got to school today, he turned around and walked out. Yeah. He's a lead student, too. Yep. So, pretty big issue. Well, it'll be interesting to see why he walked out and what they're planning to do about it, because the article really doesn't say much, except that uh, he was searched for by hundreds of volunteers and found sometime around Monday evening, so probably around, uh, actually, based on this, he was But yeah, here, if you look at the Facebook page, 
for him for KCRG, which is right here. Oh, come on. Just search KCRG TV9. I already got it. I got the article already. <laughs> Don't worry. All good. Yeah, there he is. Anyway, I want you to do me a favor, Shirley. Okay. Bring up the share screen mode that you have. I already did. It's up. I mean, with... Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um... Show the key, entire KCRG Facebook thread. Oh, okay. Hold on. So go into Facebook and actually go to KCRG <laughs> web page, uh, Facebook page. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go find it again. Bear with hold me. Hold on to what? Something. You don't want to know the answer to that here, Frodo. <laughs> go up to Facebook. I just did. It just led right well, to the um the link. I got it already. It's up. I haven't had it up for a few minutes. It's KCARG TV nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Get Facebook up. I meant. Oh. Okay. Facebook. Facebook dot com slash KCARG TV nine. Or I could just do this. KCR. There. Got it. Ta -da. It'll let me in today. No. Come on, where's the missing kid? Nope. There it is. Let's see. Oop. I'm trying to find the original original. Well, that's the original I gave you. They overwrote it. Oh, okay. Well, that's just but it. Um. Uh, but if, if you, you scroll down, down the Facebook, Facebook page, uh -huh. there's where he was found alive. Uh -huh. Live event about it. Question, question about it. KCRG, there's, there's the original, original. Uh -huh. tip line, line request. request. Keep, Keep going, going down. down. Okay. There it is. Is that it? That, that was. Keep, keep going. going. Oh, All through today, they've, they've been, been going, going on about, about this. Wow. Well, so. If he is um, special needs, why was he by himself? Somebody should have been there to been there to take him to his class. Well, there it is. This has that's to be why it. I say, Janet, mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see what the school winds up doing about it because chances are he won't be alone next time i hate to say it but uh this whole thing is starting to remind me of an old movie who here has heard of the movie baby's day out <laughs> i've never seen it but i've heard of it okay well it's got a plot Similar to this, basically a baby who's the heir to a fortune is kidnapped by three men posing as photographers. And he goes on a little adventure around New York City, laden with baby Herman style slapstick. Uh, oh yeah, I know what I'm talking about now. Yeah. But I could imagine uh, excuse me. this special needs student who just walked out basically went on his own little adventure before being found safe and sound. <laughs> and I could imagine it making several news stories. And I wouldn't be surprised, though, if it raises the ire of a few parents. Well, it probably already has. Well, Mama. depending on who they are, chances are, if anything, if they're anything like some parents I've seen, they're probably like, uh, I'll just have them call him, well, I know his name, Brandon. They're like, 
Brandon, are you alive? Are you okay? Yes, I am. I'm going to kill you then. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. Well, hopefully, not, hopefully not to that degree, but... Whew. Well, it's a Southern thing, I guess. It's kind of like, uh, I'm glad you're alive. Now I'm going to kill you. Or I'm glad you're alive. Now I'm going to give you a whoop and you'll never forget. That's true. <laughs> oh, boy. But that... The problem oh. with that is that this kid is nonverbal autistic. Oh, yeah, that does. That does make a difference. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. But, you know, things hopefully will work out. And maybe this experience will help to improve things, you know, to where something like that will not happen again. Well, there's no guarantee of that. Um, right, there's no guarantee, but I, I, that's why I said, hopefully. Yeah. Surely? Yes. Pay attention. I'm right here. I'm <laughs> just teasing you. <laughs> You were looking away. I know, because I was watching an old. I was watching. I've got an old episode of Extreme Makeover Home Edition in the background. And yes, by the way, you can watch a bunch of the episodes on the Roku channel. Thank you, Janet. Yes. You're welcome. Like... <laughs> but, guys, I, but guys, I have to be honest. I'm still worn out from yesterday. Good gracious. I don't blame you. <laughs> but let me tell you this though. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. You know, it was a little bit packed, but not as much packed as I hoped. But um, some of the autograph lines were, um, I should say short, but what people really came to see was Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. They had the longest lines. I believe it. I hope. Lala, Did you get I gotta your ask you on? something. Yeah, John, okay. what is it? I know the answer is probably no, but I need to ask. Was anybody able to convince Michael Fox and Chris Lloyd to do lines from Rick and Morty? Uh, to be honest, I hadn't went to the panel because I was busy uh, doing other things with my sister and my godson. So uh, I can't answer that. Okay. I can't answer that because I hadn't been to the panels. Gotcha. But the panel that I have been, if Shirley can pull it up on my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, Go it's the um, Power it. Ranger. It was the um, Power Rangers panel. Okay, um, give me. All right, to. give me just a second here. Hold on. Damn it! What? You're in trouble. No, that was earlier today. You're always in trouble. Oh shit! Show us. No. Spider-Man No Way Home official teaser trailer was just released one hour ago. Ooh. The crazy. real one. I thought that movie was all had already been released. It's not gonna be out till December. Okay. Okay, now let me see. Let me find uh Lala, what's your what's your channel name? I forgot. Lala Chan Gaming Network. Okay, let me go to YouTube and see if I can find it. Don't worry, nope, I've got you're it. You're not allowed. I've got it. I've got it. I found it. Okay, now. Uh, let me see. Can you post the link in the uh, Zoom chat, please, so I won't have to. Okay, uh, is, is yours the one that's 1 minute 26 seconds, Awesome Con 2021 Power Rangers panel? That's the one. All right. Give me a minute. I shall put up of the linketh. I thinketh. That's the ah. one. You're hot. That's the one that I went to. I came in late because I got lost at the um, convention center about four times trying to find the main stage. And yeah. the main stage was way, way up. I believe it. Okay. There. Chad paused. Oh, come on. Okay. You're, You're banned. banned. Yeah, except I, now that, now, wait, wait, whoa. I didn't do that. All right. So let me put that there. 
Okay, uh, and Discord as well, because that's going to be important. Anyway, I don't need the radar anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> but guys, you should have seen the look on Karen's face. And I meant every word I said at that convention. Okay, and let me get the... Right. Now, since this is your video, we don't have to use fair use. So, actually, to be fair, Lashana... Huh? Go, go ahead, ahead and state, state that you give us permission. permission. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. That, that makes it official. official. All right. I will have to watch it once I get off because my screen just went black. Oh, okay. You went, your brain went black. Okay, let me get it back to that window. The brain went black the very next day. And here we go. Watch his face. We got cussed out by the producers. Oh, my God. It was so bad. It was like, it was like bad. And he was like, did he cry? I felt like he wanted to cry. I broke. I'm sorry. He was so distraught because that was like the first week of shooting the movie. So if you ever watch the rollerblade scene, you'll notice he's always in the very back because that wasn't him. He's so athletic, he could not roll well a He had no battle, right. and his face was all scratched up. So Why that, should I? I mean, if you look close enough in the film, you'll probably see hey, a little I bit of something look. going on. Yeah, I know it be crazy, there you go. The moneymaker was not ruined. All that thank you, thank you. Okay, you we're going to move through these last three. That we're running out of time. Come on up. Totally his fault. <laughs> All Hi right, guys. we'll play on Chromeboard. Right. Hold on. from PG County, Maryland. What up, girl? And I just want to say to Karen Ashley, you were the first african-american female that i grew upon as a child and i just want to say thank you for being a woman of color that i can see myself on tv and i just want to say thank you you were a true inspiration to all of us and i just want to okay say i've got a problem so you're so welcome it's not thank letting you. me awesome oh my gosh it's probably no because idea. you're like, doing too much at i think we were so once. excited to be on a it's, tv show the operation well, cannot be completed the operation is not valid for this for process it. and it's google chrome that's weird. Yeah. All right. Boy, Lala, you 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 felt it. I felt that emotion come from you. Oh yeah. Did You're you see still a brat? Yep. Proto, who don't you think is a brat? Uh my <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh give you me a question, you get a stupid know. answer. Proto, you know you know when to cover your ass with your wife, don't you? Yeah, but yeah, uh, for those of, those that are interested, the Spider-Man No Way Home official trailer is now on YouTube. So I will definitely have to look at that as soon as this show is over. <laughs> I thought he said he, said he wasn't, wasn't going to release a trailer. No, no, no. Sony finally put out the official trailer, but someone tried to leak a trailer. No, I thought the director... Oh. Said that he wasn't going to put out a trailer. I don't know. All I know is Sony's the one who put it out, not the director. <laughs> so. But yeah, this it is the official trailer. And by the way, Doctor Strange is in it. <laughs> that's that's sweet, not surprising. Yeah, sweet with Cumberbatch. Him. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I will tell you the truth. When I saw that first photo of him, like early in 2016, I swear to God, I thought I was looking right at Doctor Strange, not Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> He's so he looks he looks like he was a dead ringer. <laughs> well, and that that's probably part of the reason they chose him. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, um, he fits. He. He fits the role perfectly. Oh, I know. It's like a lot of in a lot of cases. Like I remember the first Iron Man. I went in feeling very skeptical. Okay, when I <laughs> left the theater, you know, what I said that role of Iron Man was custom made for Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yeah. Also custom made for you. <laughs> John, what did you think of the video? That was nice. That was nice. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll have to watch it when I get off the show. That's okay. That's I fine. Was just, I was just thinking it's... Um, 
touch his face. We got cussed out by the producers. Okay, someone needs to crank that down. Okay. All right. I was just, I was just thinking that it's amazing that the same guy who played Doctor Strange played the voice of both Smaug the Dragon yep. and the Grinch. Yep. And it's weird because you would not hear either of them in those voices. Right. It, you would not hear him in either of those voices, but he was able to do it. Well, I'll tell you this. There's a YouTube video of him doing all different dialects. <laughs> And it is absolutely amazing. I after, the found... show, after the show, I'll find the <laughs> link because I know I, I know there's that video on YouTube. I'm going to find it. I'll tell you something funny. <clears throat> Lottie would know about this, I think. You guys know about the Graham Norton show? Yes. He actually did an appearance on that. First, they asked him to do his smog voice, and he did it for uh, another guest. I think it was Miranda Cosgrove. Mm -hmm. Then they showed some footage of him narrating a nature documentary where for some reason he did not have the ability to pronounce the word penguins. He called them penglings. Yeah, I think think the British British I know have, have trouble with some certain words. I know they're called Jaguars, Jaguars. Yeah. I call you a pain in the ass, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but I'd, yeah, call, I remember, I'd I guess, say what I call you on Twitch, but I'd get in trouble. Yeah, but I, <laughs> see, I remember when, when, when Twilight was the big thing, of course, there was Robert Pattinson. He, he was, I remember he was on Oprah one day, and he was talking about, you know, trying to say certain American words. I think one of them was pizza. <laughs> How did he well, say pizza? I can't remember. It was so long ago, but... But the fact of the matter is you mentioned Robin Pat- Robert Pattinson. All I can think of is uh, the fan art memes for Harry Potter that I've found where... Uh, he was said like or them... No. Well, yeah. One of them was where Professor Trelawney was uh, crystal ball gazing to see if she could divine his future. And she saw him play... Uh, uh, what was his character in Twilight? Edward. Edward. Ed Cullen. Yeah. And she was terrified. <laughs> Isn't that, that why you love, love it? Um. No, I may be thinking of a different movie, but I love it for the scene where he looks at a woman and sees her head like a cheeseburger. <laughs> but that's the funny thing he went from one popular franchise to another popular franchise literally so and yeah although i do have to say one thing i never have been a fan of the twilight series really yeah that's fine. i just think i just think it's too much teenage angst right it's not even the teenage angst that I have a problem with. Sorry. What I have a problem with boils down to one big thing. It takes the uh, lore of a vampire that's already existent and shoves it into a fucking burlap sack and then shits on it. Yeah. And then burns it. I don't know that that's all true. I'll tell you this. Um, A lot of our modern lore comes from the old Bram Stoker novel, Dracula. Yeah. In that novel, Dracula would not be killed by sunlight. He'd just lose whatever magical ability he had. Uh, But you get my point, right? Well, okay. What ways did it bag and beat common vampire lore well for example mm-hmm. the sunlight yeah yeah he in graham stoker he loses all of his magical abilities that's right. true but in in twilight he's shown like he a sparkles. bunch of damn diamonds <laughs> he sparkled like a fucking uh just go Oh. Yeah. 
That's what we're going to forget. Okay. like a fucking disco ball. I'm sorry. Um, He couldn't transform like... So he did lose his magical powers in the daylight. No, he didn't even have them in the night. He couldn't okay. transform like you would see classic vampires be able to do. Did he have to? Did he have to sleep on native soil? No, no. Yeah, I can see that. It just pisses me off that okay. they shat all over everything. Okay, true or false? Since we're talking about uh, vampire lore, according to Bram Stoker's Dracula. The animal that Dracula primarily preferred to transform into was a bat. Mm-hmm. Wolf. That's right. He preferred to transform into a large black wolf. I did not know I that. Know that. Yep. Interesting. But the thing is, even that, it wasn't <laughs> integrated. <laughs> and I- well, well, think of it. We have to look at it this way. To Twilight. Let's see, let's put it this way. Harry Potter became the craze for wizards. Uh, Twilight became uh-huh. the craze with the with the teenage vampires. Yes. And of course, let's see, what now? What is it nowadays? I mean... I suspect somebody's going to do some weird reimagining of Edgar Allan Poe, and that's going to attract the goth kids. That's probably going to be the case. You're probably right. All right. I know <laughs> South Park tried to do that. They uh, Good night. had the goth kids... Good night, Janet. No, I'm not leaving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me say one more thing before you start signing off the show, Cheryl. Okay. Remember what it was? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, this is vampire related. How many of you, I believe it was a commercial for Law of State, Dracula the, Dracula the vampire saying, I'm moving from my home in Pennsylvania to Pennsylvania. <laughs> yes, I do, and I remember they used uh, basically that same joke in an old episode of Animaniacs. I think you're right. Animaniacs. They got lost because they were trying to go to their homeland of Pennsylvania because they were drawn by pencils and ended up in Transylvania. <laughs> but I thought that was kind of cute and it kind of fit into the vampires we were discussing. Oh, well, yeah. And then, and then it shows him transforming into a bat at night and flying off. Yeah, but then, you know, thanks, I mean, thanks to Twilight, Bell's Washington became a popular place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, thanks to that, uh, a movie popularized the notion of lichens wearing the male version of Daisy Dukes. And dancing to It's Raining Men. <laughs> you know, yeah. about that. All right. Boy. I just I, I just, just gotta, gotta say this. this. Okay. I I watched the first one in theaters when it came out. Mm-hmm. And even then, I was just like, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> well, I will tell you the truth. I actually, I did two midnight showings in two days. The first wow. one was Twilight Eclipse, was night one. Night two was ab was the last Airbender. <laughs> yes, I did see that one. <laughs> yeah, did you ever find yourself going to the late night double feature picture show, Shirley? No, never really did that. Shirley, didn't the last Airbender make you sick? No, that was the Avatar movie, not the Last Airbender. Okay, my bad. The the one with the Navi, the Navi, the Navi, the yeah. something. Navi, Navi, Navi. Yeah, because I remember I was hearing a story where people were saying they were they were developing um, Avatar induced depression. In my case, it was Avatar induced nausea. <laughs> <laughs> Because I literally, wow. I literally lost some food after we left the movie. So, because I mean, the three D tricked my mind and it made me sick. So, well, guys, I don't know if you remember this, but when the Nintendo sixty four was coming out, 
they had warnings in the instruction books that you may get nauseated playing this game. That's true. Which game? Long, uh, any game that was in 3D and moved in 3D, oh. they said would potentially nauseate you. And for a long time, my father suffered from that. He couldn't watch me play without getting sick to his stomach. Or how about in Japan? They had they had to um, the Pokemon induced seizure. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep, I remember that. Yeah. You know what Pokemon caused that? I forgot what was it. Flashing eyes, man. Porygon. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Porygon. Porygon. But oh. it was only in Japan, though. It yeah, they were, able to fi- they were able to fix of. it. They were able to fix it, I think, for here, wouldn't they? No. Or, did, or no. that episode never, it never aired. aired. Oh, okay, and gotcha. That, that, the, the episode involving Porygon from the original Indigo Leak series yeah. has, has never aired, aired ah. since that one first broadcast mm. that sent kids into seizures. Yeah. All right, so... And, and, and it's a good reason, reason because in one scene, the reason why it happened, Team Rocket shot off a rocket at the the uh, kids, Ash, Misty, Brock, Pikachu. The good team. Yeah. Team Pikachu good, Pikachu jumped up, electric, uh, I think it was thunderbolted, the missile... Yeah. And it caused a series of white, red, and blue rapid flashes. Ah. Uh, which led to the problem. Yep. Just like that flashing red light in the Andromeda Street and caused that one scientist to go into a seizure. Exactly. Right. Or she had epilepsy. So what are you talking about then? It's towards the end of the movie. I've seen it, but it's the thing okay. you got to remember is her character did have epilepsy. Right. This yeah. was causing seizures in kids who are otherwise healthy. Yeah, because right. I remember. Well, here's the thing about that, John. Yeah, yeah they, they were healthy, but a lot of these kids weren't diagnosed with anything because in Japanese culture, being someone who has a disability like myself and yourself. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Would be seen as a weakness and an inherent negative thing. True. So people like if like they had an autistic disorder like we do, they like to hide it. Yeah. I hope you're I hope you're not offended by me saying it like that. No, no, no. no. It's just no, a no, so I didn't know. know. I did not know that actually. But I'll tell I you hope one. to make a joke about Kenny McCormick uh, having a seizure after playing the Chin Pokemon video game that ultimately led to his death, but I think the moment has passed. Well, Shirley, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm Why? Kinda, you kind of grimaced when I mentioned uh, uh, Kenny McCormick uh, going into a catatonic state after a seizure and then uh, I, I think Grimace, not as far as I can tell kind of, oh Sanji just joined almost... the chat room oh, nice. Nice. Day, late, day late dollar short, short Sanjo yeah well I mean yeah. Sanjo says it looks good what? uh, what'd you say Mike I was about to say that <laughs> yeah well I'll tell you this speaking of I remember one time Back in the 90s, we had something called Qzar. It's like this laser tag game. And, you know, I you know I would go down like every Wednesday. But there was one time we actually had to wait for about, I think, 30 minutes because somebody wow. in the game ahead of us suffered an epileptic seizure. Yeah. So. Uh, surely it's quarter after 10. I don't know how late you want to go. but um, I think it's, think, it's, think it's best we stop for the night. <laughs> okay, good idea. All right, so anyway. Uh, well, actually, the- before we stop, uh-huh. I want to say to our listeners, thank you for coming back after our two and a half week break. Thank you for sticking with us. We apologize for the length of our break, but yeah, stuff but, came up. Yeah, basically my when computer screwed me. 
when technology decided to take a four foot long dildo and well have its way with Shirley. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but technology really did decide to take a dump yeah. at in an opportune time. There were too many ghosts in the machine that Shirley yeah. can kick gas. But yeah. We got it fixed. We're glad that you're back. We're glad that you're here. And we hope you have a good rest of your week. Yep. So a quick, uh, quick, a quick planning. Tomorrow, of course, is Tune In Tuesday. Wednesday, we, like I said earlier in the show, we're not having a show because I'm working till 6.30. And that would put it, you know, if I get home, it would be put way too close to the show. And, you know, that would be helpful for me. But uh, let's see, Thursday... We haven't really come up with anything. I just say, how about this? Anybody here for two nights of Among Us? I am. Me! <coughs> Mike? What's up? Want to do two <coughs> nights of Among Us Thursday and Friday? Sure, why not? All right. Let's, let's, let's kill each it. other. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mike? suss the hell out of each yeah. other again. I just, I just got, got one, one thing, thing to say to you, sir. sir. Yeah. You're, You're on, on my, my shit, shit list, list first. <laughs> You're on my shit list first. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. One of the one of the quick news note. Unless you've been living under a rock, the Pfizer COVID nineteen vaccine has been fully approved by the FDA. So. Good, because that's the one I got. All right. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. That's what, what mom I'm and I. I think that's what mom and I are going to get. So. Hey. Oh, I'm it. Who has the vaccine here? I did. Vaccinated back in April. Okay, can I ask you all a question? Sure. Sure. Have you noticed a 5G cutouts lately? Um. What? Are micro are microchips starting to degrade? No. <laughs> I'm right back. Okay. <laughs> Surely got, got the joke. joke. Yep, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anti-vaxxers are pitching a bit, saying the government's going to put microchips in our arms. Exactly. Oh, that's, the, that's, that's the that's the joke. joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just, just trying, trying to feed that, that joke, joke a little bit more, more just, just to fuck with people's head. <laughs> yeah, such so well, uh, an LMFA. Uh, oh. <laughs> we'll be keeping our eyes out for you, Frodo, just in case you disappear without warning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if I disappear without warning, I'll tell you this right now. Shirley's in charge of the show if I die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What'll probably happen is you'll disappear for a couple of days, and then we'll see a version of you with a Ukrainian accent. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, let me say the let me explain the quick 10 second ending, so hang on for just a sec. Sideways, all right, thank goodness somebody can hear that. All right, <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you have a good night, have a great, have a great night, have a safe night, sleep well, stay safe, love, peace, and chicken.